Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm talking about the R Weevil function. So the R Weevil function generates random values from the Weevil distribution. That's like R norm generates random values from the normal distribution. And uh, R gamma generates random values from the gamma distribution. Okay, so for the R Weevil function, we have three R arguments. Two of them are required. N is the number of values you want from the R weevil distribution. You have to specify that. If not, the function won't run. Eight, you have to specify also. And that's the state parameter of the weevil distribution. And you also have the option to specify a scale parameter. The scale parameter, it defaults to one, so you don't have to specify it. But of course, you may want to. If what you do in the that of course. So I'm going to start programming. I'm going to create a random vari variable x filled with values from the Weevil distribution. So I'm going to do 10,000. And the state parameter, I'm going to pick 5. Okay, so I do that. I do the histogram of x. And we get a distribution that looks basically normal. It's definitely, it, since the internet, in many situations where it would not look normal, but under these conditions, it does. Okay, so we can also, uh, you, you can just specify the names of the arguments, and they can be out of order. So save equals five n equals 10,000. And of course, if I wanted to, I could do scale equals whatever. And that code runs without error, and the histogram runs without error. So I'll just do a, a quick demonstration that that data looks pretty much normal. So QQ norm generates a, a QQ plot. And if you want the line on it, you can do QQ line. And you have to feed x into qq line too get it affects the line based on the data. So you do that, and for the middle part of it, it looks normal, but on that tail right here, it obviously deviates. And you can also see a left view if you increase tape. So if I did a 50, and I did a shift of that, yeah, very pronounced left view. So the reason I talk about R, R weevil and not P and D weevil is because I like to use the sampling method to get the proportion under the curve. I you can use P and D and I believe Q to get exact values, but you can also really closely estimated. Okay, so let's uh, get the the, pro the proportion less than 0.95 in this distribution. So we're interested in the proportion in this left tail. Okay, so I'm going to make a county, and that's going to start at zero. And now I want to go through the distribution and count every time the value is less than 0.95. So length of x. So if x to y, so that goes through every element in the x vector. If less than 0 point, oh, point 0.95, then I want to count up. Counter equal counter one. Okay, so that's 700. So we, we need to divide that by the number of samples we went through to get a proportion. So 700 divided by the length of x. And we get about 7% in that left tail from 0.95 onward. 
Okay, so I think I did the high point, Keith. And at the end of the video, thank you for watching.